What is Monero? How does it work? Why is it considered a privacy coin? And what about it makes it more private than other cryptocurrencies? Before we dig into the technical details, let's take a step back for a second and just talk about privacy and anonymity in general. So as an example, if you go to buy a cup of coffee and you use cash, there's a certain level of anonymity there. There's not really a record of that transaction. It can't really be traced back to you. Where if you were to pay with a credit card, there would be a record of that transaction, which is traceable. Now, similarly with most cryptocurrencies, they're built on an open and public ledger, meaning that transactions are visible to the public eye. That being said, many cryptocurrencies have varying levels of privacy and are already pseudo anonymous, especially Bitcoin, depending on the size of the network and the amount of transactions, meaning that even though it's a public ledger, when you have a high volume of transactions, it becomes more difficult to pinpoint and narrow who belongs to what. Where privacy coins are designed to take it even further to ensure privacy and anonymity. All right, now let's look under the hood a little bit more specifically at Monero to see exactly how it works and what they're doing to ensure their user privacy. Now with any transaction, there's always two sides, the sender and the receiver. So let's look at the sender first. Monero uses something called ring confidential transactions, which basically mix in decoy addresses, making it nearly impossible to know which transaction belongs to who. Now on the receiver side of things, they use something called stealth addresses addresses, which basically generates random one-time addresses that can't be linked to any shared Monero address. So where can you go to actually do things with your Monero, like store, send, receive, or exchange it? Well, I like to use Cake Wallet because they have a really easy to use interface and they actually have an app which is super handy. So it's available for either iOS or Android. Now, a couple of other just interesting things to know about Monero. First of all, they were founded in 2014. So they've been around for a while. They're a well-established cryptocurrency at this point. But also, I think it's really great that they're completely open source and fully decentralized. 